Earlier today, the Civil Defense Commission, CDC, commissioned the Fort Ordens Primary School as an emergency shelter. More details in this report. The Fort Ordnance Primary School was earlier today commissioned as an emergency shelter in the presence of representatives of the school, the Region 6 Administration, and the Civil Defense Commission. The project was completed under the title Enhancement of Emergency Shelter Capacity to Mitigate Flood Risks in Fort Ordnance and was approved and funded by the Canada Caribbean Disaster and Risk Management Fund. Delivering introductory remarks at the commissioning ceremony was head teacher of the school, Miss Roxanne Lynch. With gladness of heart, I wish to convey gratitude to the Civil Defense Commission, the Canadian government, the Ministry of Education, and by extension, the government of Maine. However, the idea was birthed in, not sure whose brainchild it was. This initiative is quite timely and relevant. This project has been much needed. It came at a time when we at Fort Ordnance Primary was unsure as to how we were going to address the many issues that plagued the school. Regional Chairman Mr. David Armagan also gave brief remarks. This is a very significant exercise that you're going through this morning, the ceremony, because it sets about to provide a necessity in the event of a disaster. Now we are all aware that disaster does not tell you when it's going to strike. And even so, when you anticipate a disaster, you still have to prepare for it. We have seen our sister states in the Caribbean, and even as far as North America and elsewhere, how natural disasters have created cat catastrophic consequences for those countries. And today, some of them are still not able to recover from those natural disasters. The first thing when a disaster strikes is that people, is food is, it becomes a major problem. Food and water. And so that's the first thing to be advocated for, and shelter. And that's why you find you have all those pots and pans in there. In the event of a disaster, we can cook for you. We can quickly move in dry goods and vegetables and meats and so and be able to cook for a number of people who might be affected. Her Excellency Lillian Chatterjee, High Commissioner of Canada to Guyana, was also present at the event and said, To me, this is a really good collaboration where we're addressing um, an issue of flooding um, but where on a day-to-day -day basis this can benefit the children and the teachers um, and give peace of mind to parents that their children are being well looked after. So this is a win-win. Um, it will serve the community at times of floods but on a daily basis, it has improved the quality of care for the children of the school. And that gives me a, a great deal of uh, satisfaction. The feature address was then given by Director General Acting of the Civil Defense Commission, Major Kester Craig, who explained how the initiative was conceived. In 2015, the Civil Defense Commission brought a vision advanced disaster response capacity in the region. You may know that Region 6 is vulnerable to flooding, but not only to flooding, it's also vulnerable to other hazards such as droughts, fires, and health hazards. And we recognize these vulnerabilities of this region because of a vulnerability and risk assessment that was conducted in the region in 2015. So coming out of that risk assessment, we also recognize that this particular location is also a vulnerable location. So it's not just by miracle this location was selected for the actual implementation of the project, but because of a scientific approach 
and also a community involvement in terms of identifying hazards and risks in the entire region. And we've started a disaster risk management system, and the regional chair mentioned earlier, that includes the setting up of the emergency operation uh, system, uh, setting up of disaster risk management system, training of personal in disaster management, training of personal in shelter management. So the whole shelter arrangement fits into a broader picture and not just the isolation at this particular community. The ceremonial unveiling of the plaque was then done. Also present at the event was Regional Education Officer Ms. Volaika Jaikishin. Sasha Ramsaran reporting for Chanli News.